Maryland is holding a special election to decide who will succeed the late Congressman Elijah Cummings. He passed away on October 17th. It's a rare opening in a very blue district, so 24 Democrats and 8 Republicans are running for the seat. A lot of the most well-known politicians in Maryland have stayed out of the race. That's because a lot of the candidates know each other and it's a little bit of a family feud at this point. So among the 24 Democrats who are running, there are some well-known names and some not so well-known names. Um, the, the top Democrats include Kwaizi Mfume, Maya Rocky Moore Cummings, and several state lawmakers, Tomich Branch, Jill Carter, and many others. Mfume and Rocky Moore Cummings are the most well-known in the field because they have the highest name recognition. Um, they both, as with everyone in the field, they claim that they will um, continue the legacy of Congressman Cummings. Kwaizi Mfume was close friends with, with uh, Cummings for decades. They talked all the time. My candidacy is the only one that can really make the record that A, I have a record in Congress over 10 years on economic issues, educational, environmental issues, on crime, on the society, on job creation. It's there for everybody to look at. But in addition to that, I'm the only one that has been proven in that role, tested in that role, and ready to go to work on day one in that role. It's so funny because I called Elijah Cummings the night before I announced that I was leaving to go try to save a dying NAACP. And Elijah's reaction was like mine, are you serious? And I said, yes, Elijah, you have to run for the seat. And after some convincing he did, and then the rest was history again. Mfume left the NAACP amid allegations that he favored some women employees at the organization. Um, he has admitted to having a relationship with one woman that he said it was inappropriate because he worked, she worked for him, but that is all he said. My Rocky Moore Cummings has come under fire somewhat for a couple of things. Um, one, how she ran her, ran her policy consulting firm, and two, how she managed the finances when she was chair of the state Democratic Party. And although Rocky Moore Cummings is not originally from Baltimore, she claims the city as her own today. I am a Baltimorean. I live here. This is my home. Uh, and I love Baltimore. And I believe that Baltimore deserves the best. And that's why I'm running for Congress. I have been encouraged by all the love and the support that I have received from everywhere around the 7th Congressional District. Uh, everywhere I go, people just, of course, tell me how much they loved my late husband uh, and how much they cherish his memory. I think it's important for voters to know that I bring experience and I'm ready to hit the ground running on day one. Uh, Elijah and I met on Capitol Hill. I was working on the House Ways and Means Committee and then I ran a congressional office. I've, I've passed bills. I know how bills uh, get uh, worked uh, uh, and I, I've seen them advanced and I've worked them on both the House and the Senate side. A wonderful so you think man. you're going to beat Mufumi? Well, I'm working hard on that. Uh, I'm one of the front runners, so with that I'm going to need your vote. The election is complicated because voters will be asked to go to the polls three times um, to fill this seat in, in 2020. In early February, they go to the polls to choose the Democratic and Republican nominees to fulfill the rest of Cummings' term. Then in April, they will choose the, um, the final winner for that race. Because the district is so blue, the winner of the primary, the Democratic primary, is expected to win the general. Also on April 28th, the voters will choose a nominee for a full term. Um, that's a full two-year term. Uh, then they will choose the winner in early November. The seventh district includes parts of Baltimore City as well as Baltimore and Howard counties. The border of the district has been redrawn twice since Mfume held the seat and it now includes more non-African American voters and overall the district really stretches from some of the poorest parts of Baltimore um, to some affluent parts of Howard County. The special election poses challenges of its own. There's such a short campaign window. Candidates don't have a ton of time to fundraise or introduce themselves to voters. Um, we also expect, unfortunately, pretty low turnout, um, which means many of the candidates are focused on the voters they already know and getting them to the polls. You say fire, we say rock, fire, rock, fire, rock.